Welcome to the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation here in far north Thailand. Uh, across the river there is Myanmar and if you look in the distance you'll be able to see the mountains of Laos and so you'll know exactly where we are in the Golden Triangle. And these are Asian elephants. We are a foundation that was set up in 2005 primarily to take elephants off the streets of Bangkok because they were begging down there in those days um, and bring them here to this wonderful place that they can hang out and live and eat grass and graze and scratch themselves against trees and do all sorts of other things, so natural elephant habitat. The foundation has grown a bit since then and now we have many projects out around uh, out around Thailand and Southeast Asia helping wild elephants, helping the Mahout or traditional elephant owning communities and we're also very very interested in the nuts and bolts of elephants, the science. So we invite scientists to come and collaborate with us and perform their experiments to try and find out more about elephants and hopefully we can not only learn more about these fantastic beasts like Bo here, um, we can also uh, use what we learn to help better protect them in the wild and further protect them as a species. So that's what we do. Thank fantastic. you very much. Thank you, John. And as you can see, Bo is very cooperative. She is. And then they're sniffing the fig tree here. Yeah. <laughs> if you look up, you'll be able to see the figs are very, very new. If you look up there in a couple of months' time, there'll be red figs everywhere and the elephants will be trying to climb the tree. <laughs> This is one of their favorite places. So can you maybe tell us more about Bo here? Bo is uh, in her mid-40s. Uh, she was an elephant. She was never actually a street begging elephant, but she was a parade elephant. So she used to walk around from place to place and work in parades, um, but generally living outside her natural habitat and living among humans. Uh, Thailand has had elephants in captivity for about 4,000 years, but for the majority of that time, there's been a lot of forest for them to live in and they would come out and be, be in armies or they would be working in the forest to, to remove timber. Since 89, there hasn't been that for them to do because logging was banned and so elephants would then went out onto the streets and had to live among humans. Um, and they very rarely got to see their natural habitat and to relax in the way that they, they do here. Uh, Poon Lab is another elephant that has been with us now since 2004, I'm going to say. Um, and she uh, was a street begging elephant. We, when we first found her, she was living in a supermarket car park down in Phuket, which is one of the tourist towns in Thailand. Uh, and every evening she would go out and walk around the tourist spots and the Mahout, the owner at the time, would go to the restaurants and would get money, would sell bananas to the tourists to yeah. feed back to the elephant, yeah. um, which was a, something that was very fairly common to see in Thailand until about ooh, five, six years ago. And now it's been clamped down upon and uh, people have had to find other ways to make money. But we thought that's not a good place for elephants to be hanging out, so we decided to uh, decided to, to try and bring her off the streets. And at one point we had about 40 elephants, at the moment we have 20 elephants, all spread out around here. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you, John. Super. Yep. No, no problem, thank Very you. Very good. <laughs> okay. Fun. Yeah, it's nice.